Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Today's video is very challenging because we're gonna dip down to get all these bushes and we will use the grass cutter. Our intention here is to clear the area for us to make sure that the birds will not thrive or you know hide in there because if we're gonna leave this in that state the birds will just you know hide and then eat the fish because today we are going to release some thousands of baby catfish inside the net and this is a trial and error process because it's my first time to use this pond for the catfish you know that we have here so many native fish that might eat also the babies. This is the reason why we have this mosquito net like what we did in our Azola plantation. And by the way, our Azola plantation is doing well and they are already thick. There are plenty. That would give us the conclusion that this water is good also for our fish because the Azola is also thriving. Kita si puni oh. So this is a trial and error process because this is my first time to adopt this kind of system. Well, of course, raising the catfish in a concrete tank is actually not any more new to me. But what makes it new now is the use of this mosquito net. I used to also release catfish in the old farm but we don't use the mosquito net. We just release the fish in a big tank and then that's it. But this time we are trying our best to preserve the lives of this baby catfish because there are many predators that are here and I'm pretty sure that when another species is being put them together here in this uh, habitat they would certainly eat that one because they're also highly territorial. So we will preserve the lives of our baby catfish and then we're gonna be releasing them in maybe two or three months from now that they can already survive together with the native fish. I just hope so. I'm also very skeptical about this coming typhoon, but I know that this will not any more damage this pond because we already have put a flood control over there. I just hope so. So we have finished putting up the post and we already have affixed the mosquito net. And this is the nursery now for the baby catfish. You know, I really had hard times growing our baby catfish inside the concrete tank, especially if they are two, three, four days old, because the water in the concrete tank would really become cold. And that's the reason why 
Sometimes they will die because of indigestion, especially if you are giving them the live food. They have to have a good temperature which is more than 25 degrees Celsius. And in the mud pond, the temperature will not suddenly drop even during the day. And this is best for the catfish. So now you're going to witness as we release this, I estimated this, 2,000 baby catfish. Oops! See that baby catfish? We would not know if we are doing the right thing if we will not try it. We will really try this one and there are many factors that would not make us very successful. Like for instance, the net will be destroyed by the snakeheads. But we will not know if we will not try. So this is an experimental thing and I hope that this will become successful and I'm not so sure also that they will not practice cannibalism, but we have to try this one. So now we will release this 2,000 baby catfish. So we have finished our mission. We have released some 2,000 baby catfish here and this will become their nursery and I'm so positive about things. As what I have said, in life we have to always take the risk. And this is the risk that I am telling you that there are two things that will happen. Either they will grow big or they will die. If they will grow big, then we are fortunate. But if they will die, then still we are fortunate. Why? Because we have lessons learned. And of course, if uh, they will die, we will make some adjustments. If uh, they will not survive, we can always make some you know, precautions in the future. Because this would uh, already give us the sufficient knowledge on what we're going to do in our future in divorce but with my experience I am more than 50% convinced that this catfish will grow and if they gonna grow that's the time that we will release them here and they will be joining with the native fish and they will live together Our Azola growth is quite good, but I think we have to make some adjustments because some of them have been, you know, experiencing tip board. The tip of the leaves are turning brown. That's why I assume that because of the too much heat, but generally they are still good. And tomorrow we will also make a visit right here and we will see if this will become worse then we have to make some adjustments these are the methods that we must adopt in farming always make some adjustments if this process is not good of course we will adjust and become a better farmer as the years go on So these are all the things that we can share so far and as we develop this area, please be with me because this is going to be very exciting towards our goal. Our goal is to make cottages right here and invite people to join with us here and cook our fish, enjoy the animals. These are the things that we're going to achieve. I keep on believing in my dreams and I hope that God will 
give us the favor. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading very informative, very entertaining, and challenging videos only here at Dexter's World.